I will make you the host. Okay. All right. Okay, so we are going to be making, we're going to start from here at the top of our butterfly. And we're just going to make a curve going inwards like that. Just like this. Okay. We are going to make three of those in this section. So three of those curves, and it will look like this. So I've made one, I will make another one, that's two, and then three. And the last one, I'm going to connect it into our middle line right there. Okay. I'm gonna repeat that on this side. So I'm gonna make these three curves again here. So, one, two, and then three. All right, okay. And now I'm going to continue this onto the bottom part of the wing, but only up to this line. In this wing, I'm going to make four four of these curves. So again, starting from where we ended off on the top half, we'll make curves. So one, two, three, and the last one, we're going to connect it to this line. And so four, I'm gonna all the way down like that. Okay, now that we've done that, I am going to repeat it on this side so Terrence how are you doing so far okay okay all right okay so thank you what I got for you Melissa looks really good looks really really good I gotta do a better indentation on my curves I think my curves aren't they're too subtle yeah definitely make it more curved, like how you would draw a C. Got it. Better C. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat that, what I did here. I'm gonna draw it over here, and as I've shown you guys, I've actually uh, turned my paper so that you guys can see me draw right side up and not upside down. So I hope that helps a little bit. Um, all right. So, so one, two. Three and the last one, I'm going to connect it all the way down like that. Okay, that's really good, Terrence. That looks great. Okay, all right. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go back up here to the top, and we see that we have a line here. We're going to draw another line underneath it 
So it's like we've drawn like a, a crescent moon. So we're going to draw that underneath here like that. I guess beside it on the um, on the right side. So just like that. So it's like we're making mini uh, crescent moons or toenails. I believe the shape is called the toenail shape. Or crescent moon. Isn't as appealing as a crescent moon. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I've done that there. I will repeat this for all of these now. And as we're drawing, just remember to keep breathing. Remember to draw without any judgment. Whatever we draw, it will be beautiful. Okay. I like that. It's okay if your crescent moons, they aren't all the same size. They don't have to be. Okay. So I've drawn this here. I'm not going to repeat it over here. So I guess it's like the other side. But as you can see. See. I have kind of like a funny story. Um, so Terrence, when I was when I was very, very young, like four years old, my family and I, we went to Niagara Falls. And at Niagara Falls, they have um, the butterfly exhibit where you can enter a room and it's all butterflies. And I was so scared. Really? <laughs> like, I started crying. A butterfly landed on my shoulder and I screamed like bloody murder and I wanted to leave and my parents wouldn't let me leave. They were like, we're having fun and I was crying. <laughs> so, but I like butterflies now. I don't cry anymore when I see them. <laughs> all right. So we all have our, our crescent shapes done. We're actually going to fill them in. So whether you have a pencil, a pen or a marker, we're going to color these in. Remember, take your time. Remember your breathing. Just going to color these in, shade them in. Uh, the toenails? The toenails, yeah. We're going to color the toenails in. Okay. All right. The shading doesn't have to be perfect. Just... Because we want to get some, um, just some, some contrast and we'll see, especially if you have a marker or a pen, it might be a little bit easier to color these in. Um, if you don't, and that's, that's also fine because take your time with your pencil, your marker, we're just going to color these in. And also the image we're going to make at the end, what you can also do, everybody, is we're going to create just the normal black and white sketch, but you can go home and color the butterfly in yourself with whatever colors you would like. There's going to be lots of room for other colors too that you can do on your own at home. So as you've seen, I've colored this in. <laughs> Do that on this side here too. Okay. Terrence, have you ever been to the Niagara Falls butterfly exhibit? I, you know what? I, that's a great question. I know of it, but I can't remember actually going to it. You should, you should definitely go. It's butterflies everywhere. They just land on you. <laughs> I know there's a few butterfly exhibits I've gone to in my life, not the one in Niagara. We, go to, one. we, we go, go to a butterfly park there yes. at, uh, really? what, what, what is that place where we had gone? Is it Korea Park or is it um, Riverwood? Cambridge. Cambridge Butterfly Park. We had gone. Ooh. Oh wow! I've never. That sounds. 
That sounds really nice. I would love to go one day too to see all the butterflies. Did you guys like it? Were there a lot of butterflies? I hope no one was as scared as I was when I was. Now you sounded real scared. I said, yeah, I was crying, <laughs> crying. It's funny when you think that a butterfly used to be a caterpillar. That's true. They used to be caterpillars and then they, they grow they into beautiful, beautiful. They get, insects. they cocoon and then they become butterflies. Yeah. I, I'm ram I remember in school and if anyone has kids, I'm sure they've had to do this as well, but we used to do science experiments where we'd find a cocoon or a caterpillar and we'd watch it um, come out of its cocoon. It was, it was really cool. Scary for me at the time, but it was definitely very cool. All right, now that everyone, now that we've drawn our butterf- our colored in our toenails or our crescent moons, so take your time, no rush, I'm just gonna move on. Yeah, Terrence, that looks good. Looks really, really good. Looks great. Look at okay. that. Yeah. All right, so over here, so we see how we've drawn kind of like this shape here. What we're going to do now is right here in the middle, we're going to draw another oval, but a smaller one this time. So an oval like that. Okay, so this part that kind of goes out here, we're going to draw an oval in the middle of that. And I'm going to repeat that on this side. So. Just like that. Okay. Once we've drawn that, inside of our oval, we're going to make another toenail shape here. So we're going to make it at the top, but it's going to be a kind of a smaller one here. So if you can see, I've made another shape there and we're going to color that in. So color that in just like that. All right. We're going to repeat it for this circle too. So Draw like a toenail shape again and color it in. Perfect. So, all right. Once we have that done, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back up to our top, top of our butterfly. As you can see here, there's, um, we've drawn the curve. Now over here, there's like a point that's like kind of coming out. We're going to draw a line from this point to the end of the wing over there. So like that. And we're going to repeat that for all of these. So wherever you see a point like um, kind of like a triangle or the tip coming out, we're going to draw a line to connect it to this side, the lines here. So we're going to do that for all of these and repeat it on this side as well. All right, so like that. Okay, again like that. Mm -hmm. And then repeat it on this side. Line. All right, Terrence, is that okay? Yes, okay. ma'am. Can I can I get an update? Let me know how I'm doing here. See, ooh, that looks good. That looks really, really good. Looks great, go. Terrence. All right, okay, everyone. Now we're going to go back to our favorite shape, which is again the curve, the C. We're going to start at the top again, and between this toenail and the end here, <laughs> we're going to draw another C shape. So like that. <laughs> for 
all of these. So, like that. So more C curves. Again, they're not the same shape, that's okay. They're not the same size, that's okay. It's just like that. And this part, it gets a little bit, um, it's going to be a little bit different. So what we're going to do is, because you see it's not the same um, amount of space as before, we're going to start from where our last curve ended, and we're just going to kind of do a curve as well, but we're going to bring it down more. Like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to repeat it on this side. Okay, so, drawing a curve like that. So, inside of um, the space here between the toenail and the side. All right. Again, we've reached this part, which has more space here than the rest. So I'm going to make the curve again, but I'm going to bring it down more so that it kind of meets the end a little bit better. What, again, what we have so far. Hope everyone is doing well. Terrence, how are you doing? I'm okay. I'm just doing the last little curve piece here. Awesome, awesome. I'll show it to you. Bam. Yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. And now, so we now have this little pocket of space here. What we're going to do is we're going to fill it with lines. And we're going to fill it with horizontal lines. So I will demonstrate. Just <laughs> little lines. I think I'm gonna wonder if there's a way. Okay, I think it's okay now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be filling in the little leech pocket with just horizontal lines. I will continue to do that. It's just horizontal lines like that. And we'll also show it here. <laughs> well, I'm wondering if there's a way I can... Hmm. The feedback is not you. It's not me? Oh, okay. Just wanted to make sure. But yeah, so we're just, what we've done here, we're going to do it for all of these spaces. I'm going to do it all the way here as well. So take your time. I wonder if it's true because I know that they say that all, there's like every single snowflake is different. I think I've heard that about butterfly wings as well, but I'm I'm gonna have to fact check that because I'm not entirely sure. Um, whoever is, I was wondering if everyone can just have themselves on. Yes, if it's possible, if everyone can just put themselves on mute so we can avoid feedback. Okay, so what I'm still doing so far, I'm just filling in each of the pockets with just straight lines, straight lines going that way horizontally. So you can see. All the way to the bottom of the stuff? All the way to the bottom, all the way to the bottom of this section right there. So what we're gonna what we're seeing so far now is that we have one section where it's completely filled in, 
one that's empty, and one that's just filled with a bunch of straight lines. So all the way to the bottom, bottom of this one, not here, here. This uh, little pocket of space there. And we're going to repeat that on the other side too. Let's see, Terrence. That looks really great. Yeah, good job. Now on the other side? Yes, the other side. All right. So I've I filled it in on this side here. So you can see, now I'm going to fill it in on this side now. Okay. And as we fill it in, remember it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine or Terrence's. So just having fun. And no matter what we create, it's art. So I'm just continuing to fill that in again. Can't believe I'm doing this. This is this is incredible. Yeah, everyone's listen. I know sometimes we we think, oh, I can't draw like that, or oh, I don't, I'm not talented enough. But um, anything is art. It's all about just taking it step by step, practicing, um, and drawing without judgment. Because when we judge ourselves, when we judge what we draw, we don't appreciate what we've drawn. I find oftentimes, like, you know, we'll draw something and we'll think it looks bad, but we'll show it to someone else and they'll think it looks beautiful. And I'll be like, it really is, um, draw without judgment. So we have this so far. All right. Now what we're going to do is starting from our middle here. So we have this little middle part. We are, this part is gonna be very important. So starting from this middle all the way to here. So each time there's a toenail, there's like a little dip, a little dip here. We're going to draw a line from this middle into that little dip. So I will demonstrate. So starting from here, again, the middle, all right. Ooh. And then I will just draw the line like that. Okay, so we see there's another, it's another little dip here. That means we're going to draw another line starting from the middle all the way there. Okay. And so we're going to do that on the bottom as well. So starting again from the middle, we see there's a little, a little dip here, right there. So I'm going to draw this line and I will connect it to that middle part. Okay. And I will do it for the, each time. So I'm going to do it two more times because as you can see, there's a little dip here. And there's another dip here. That means we can draw a line from this middle and connect it there. Terrence, <laughs> how, how does that sound? You doing okay so far? Sounds okay. I've got it. Uh, I'm going ahead of class because I know where you're going. So. Oh, let me. See. Oh, that looks awesome, Terrence. That looks really, really good. Uh, let Melissa. Let me confirm from the party friends just for a moment. Okay. Yes. Are you doing it very well? Yes. Wonderful. Yes, they are doing it and they like it very much. Oh, Let us so give good. a big clap. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I have to applaud all of you for drawing. It's, it's you know, it's not easy putting yourself out there and drawing something. It can, you know, it can be a little like nerve wracking. You guys are doing great. We're going to do it on this side too. So again, there's a little dip here, a dip right there. You draw the line from the middle 
it's going to go in there and we're just going to continue like that and go from here all the way to there as well again your lines they don't have to be perfect they don't have to be um you know completely symmetrical so, this is what we have right now okay now what we're going to do so actually before we finish off the wings we're going to actually finish off the body first because we're not done with the body of the butterfly just yet so at the top here we see that it has its little eyes we're going to draw its antennas how we're going to do that is we're going to start in the middle here between the little circles when it's start in the middle we're going to draw a line that goes out like that at the top of the line we're going to we're going to draw another little circle but it's going to be connected so we're not like drawing it like um like another on its own we're going to draw this this line and we're going to curve in and connect to it so that we have a teardrop shape all right and we're going to do that again so we're going to go back in the middle between the eyes we're going to draw the line this way now so we're going to go this way and we're not going to lift our pencil off we're going to draw the line and curve it in so that we've made another little teardrop shape all right okay we're going to color these teardrops in just color those parts in um what i'm going to actually do as well is i'm going to color in the eyes the little circles so I'm going to color that in so I invite everyone to do the same so we're going to do that so it kind of looks more like eyes we kind of see the little antenna now okay Terrence how are you doing yay that looks wonderful awesome okay now we have this part of the body the head what we're going to do here so we're going to draw another oval inside of this inside of here so let me show you just like that i'm going to draw the oval there and we're going to color it in as well with our pen pencil marker let's do that okay awesome once we've done that, we're going to go here now. We're going to find the middle. So here is, again, starting from the middle here. This is where the middle of the body is. We're going to draw several lines. But we're, it's go, we're going to make one line, but we're going to make like a dotted line. So I'm going to demonstrate. Starting here is the middle. I'm going to make a line like that. I'm going to leave a little bit of space. And we can continue the line underneath that. All right, and I'm just going to continue like that. Going all along the bottom, all the way to the end of the oval. From there, we're going to use our favorite shape, the curve. We're going to go to the end of the line here. We're going to draw a curve that will go there. So, from the middle here to there. We will, then once I've drawn it on this side, I'm also going to draw it on that side. So, like that. Okay. And I'm going to go to the next line. I'm going to go find the bottom of the line. And I'm going to draw those curves again. Go to the bottom of the line, draw the curves again, 
and so on until we've reached this last line and we don't have to worry about that we can just leave it as is all right okay now we're going to move back onto the wings so as we see there's now a lot of space here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start again from the top i'm going to do make another c shape but i'm going to make it more in the middle here like that so again kind of mirroring what we did here i'm going to continue this for the rest of the wings so just like that and we're going to continue all the way down okay, and you see even though at this end here it's kind of like smaller that's okay Now that we've done this, this here, I will repeat it on this end. So again, the curve is now going this way. I will find the middle. And I'm going to just draw a curve like that. I'm going to continue all the way down. All right, Terrence, how, does, how are you doing so far? Spectacular. I'm, I think I'm ahead of the game. Yeah, Terrence, you're... Oh, awesome! That looks wonderful! Oh my gosh, so speedy, but that looks amazing. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. So, that's what we have so far, so we're gonna do it all the way to the end. And now, we're going to do the same motion again. So let's say I'm gonna start back onto this wing here. On this end, I'm going to draw the shape again, but a little bit down from there. So I'm going to draw it over here. And I will continue that on both ends. So same thing like we just did, but this time it's a little bit closer to the body of the butterfly. Okay. So I've done it on this end. I'm gonna draw it here. <laughs> kind of looks like a spider web. It does, it actually does. Ooh, I never thought of it like that, but yeah. Which is actually really cool too, because that's like another insect and it's like we're drawing butterfly. <laughs> so like that. And now so you see how here there's like a middle there's the middle here. We have these pockets of space. What we're going to do there is we're going to again fill them in with horizontal lines or just lines again. So just like we did here when we filled in these spaces, we're going to do that here. So I'm going to demonstrate as well. Okay, so See, just fill it in, some more lines. I'm gonna show it over here as well. Some lines, so we filled that in. We're gonna do that for all of these spaces up until this point. So just up until this one. Okay, so we're going to do that. And so, Again, when you guys are at home and you have access to your art kits, um, I invite you all to color it in. It's like your own little coloring page and you can color the butterfly however you like. So I'm just doing that. Okay. Something else, if you all would like to try too, is that you can keep the shape that we've drawn initially, but now that we're doing lines and we're filling it in with like shading, you can make different designs in the wings. You can do that when you go home, just repeat the same steps, but you can fill it in the wings with different designs. Okay. 
Okay. So, what I have so far. All right, just continue that. And all right, that's so what I have. I have these last two little spaces there. I'm just gonna fill them in with my lines. All right, and this is that. Terrence, can I see what you've drawn? Oh, that looks awesome. <laughs> It looks really great. All right. Okay, everyone. And this is what we have. We have our butterfly now. And again, I invite everyone to go home. You can color it in with different colors, with pinks, red, greens, whatever you'd like. Um, but yeah, there we go. So I hope everyone enjoyed. I hope you all had a great time. I Hello. hope. And Lisa. Suggest yes. the colors also. Yes. Suggest mm -hmm. the colors also for this. Yes, definitely. When butterfly. You go, yes, definitely. So when you go home, you can color it with your art kits. You can do whatever colors you want. What colors do you recommend, Melissa? Mm, uh, I'm going to say... Okay. Uh, I'm going to say orange because yeah, you monarch are butterflies are orange. They're so a type of why don't butterfly. You... But again, this uh, is, I mean, this you, was not based on any time? butterfly. It was just something that um, you can you can do with any um, colors you want. You can choose um, orange or pink. Um, whatever your favorite color is, just color it. You can make one wing pink, mm -hmm. you can make the other wing green. It's up to you. You have complete freedom. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, when you thank you very you much, see. it was a wonderful presentation. Everyone liked it very much. And Terence, we are highly yeah, thankful so to you, you to the newcomer center of Peel that right. you are having yeah, wonderful programs for the seniors Maybe and seniors they love to attend it. Okay, thank you guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. We'll see yeah, you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, we shall be meeting soon. Hopefully. Yes. So, Terrence, next Wednesday, we are going on vacation and we'll be meeting on 5th of January. Okay. Good to know. All right, guys. Okay. Take care. We're out. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, when you leave home, just message. All right. Thank you, Rita. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm.